It's time for Trails End TV with Nick and Sam. Hi, Nick. And I'm Sam. Welcome to Trails End TV. Thanks for tuning in. On this week's episode, we'll be covering show and sell best practices. We'll hear from our friend Luke again on how to set up your table, best locations, and so much more. We'll even show you an example of what a great show and sell table looks like. First, if you haven't already, update your online selling account with your current unit information. If you don't already have an online selling account, you can create one at sell.trails-n.com. As an added bonus, 500 lucky scouts who sign in or create their account before September 30th will be entered in a grand prize drawing for a $10 gift card. What a deal! Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter for important updates and bonus challenges. Thanks for the update, Sam. A few weeks ago, we sat down with Luke to talk about show and sell best practices. A show and sell is when your unit sets up a table in front of a store or business and people can purchase popcorn as they walk by. We're going to show you a little bit of our conversation so you can have a successful show and sell, just like Luke. Take a listen. For me, the perfect locations are where just enough people go right after work. The best places are those where the busy market areas or business areas on those busy corners where the crosswalk stops the people just enough for me to talk to them. Some other great locations are supermarkets. I suggest having four or five locations in your head so that when business slows down in one place, you can just go to the next. Another great location for me is the subway stations because you're getting all those people coming off the trains after work and all the people coming off the buses to the next bus stop over there. So you get these prime zones of people coming off the trains every two minutes and then in between those you have a moderate amount of people coming through from the buses. Other great location that I have in San Francisco is right by AT&T Park where the Giants play. So I'm getting all the people coming off the subway stations to go to their downtown apartments or to the Giants game. I made my hourly record there of $1,000 an hour. You may need to just look for the perfect location and think outside the box. But when you do show and sale, you never want an empty table. You want your table to be completely full. Thanks, Luke. As you mentioned, it's important to set up your table with the products you're selling. We've set up a table as an example to show you what your table should look like. You'll see that we've got products displayed, a scouting banner, a credit card reader, and a donation box that we'll put towards military donations. Talk with your leader or council about when your unit will have a show and sell. Now moving on to the challenge portion of our show. Thank you for all your submissions. This week's winner of the Trails End Challenge is Charlie. Way to go, Charlie! This week's challenge is to show us how you celebrate after having a show and sell. Maybe it's getting ice cream, having a hot dog roast, or just relaxing on the couch. Take a photo or video and post them to social media. We look forward to seeing all of your submissions. Well, that's it for this episode of Trails End TV. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you back in two weeks. Have a popping good day!